Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Governor of Texas, I would like to welcome you to the Texas Legislative Medal of Honor presentation ceremony in honor of United States Army Private Marcelino Cerna and United States Coast Guard Seaman Apprentice William Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. For Governor Greg Abbott, the 48th Governor of the State of Texas, and remain standing for the invocation followed by the playing of our national anthem. Would you bow with me in prayer? Our Heavenly Father, on this beautiful Texas day, we wish to thank you for the gift of life and the blessings of freedom that we enjoy. We recognize that even now, uniformed Texans stand in harm's way, both at home and abroad, in order to preserve the rights with which you have endowed us to secure our lands and protect our way of life. We ask your watch care over them and their families. And as we're gathered here on this solemn occasion to honor the selfless and sacrificial acts of Private Cerna and Seaman Flores, they represent what we all aspire to. May your blessings be upon this ceremony and may you use it to inspire each of us present to humble sacrificial service as our Lord. And it's in his name we pray, amen. Thank you, Chaplain Lang. Please be seated. We would like to welcome and to recognize the family members of both Marcelino Cerna and William Ray Flores in attendance with us today. Please hold your applause until all are introduced. From the Cerna family, great-granddaughters Jenny Stopani and Socorro Gurdon, great-great-granddaughter Kaylin Archie, and great-great-grandson Isaac Gurdon. From the Flores family, brothers Samuel and Richard Flores, Sisters Consuelo Flores and Carolyn Alstrom, nephews William and Robert, niece Carrie, and brother-in-law Christopher McDonald, and to all other special guests and personal family friends of these two extraordinary families in attendance with us here this afternoon, welcome. The Texas Legislative Medal of Honor was established to recognize gallant and intrepid service by a member of the state or federal military forces. We are here today to recognize and award the Texas Legislative Medal of Honor posthumously to United States Army Private Marcelino Cerna and United States Coast Guard Seaman Apprentice William Ray Flores, who proved themselves deserving recipients of this prestigious honor with their heroic actions in the service of their nation. A remarkable soldier, Private Marcelino Cerna demonstrated exceptional resourcefulness and courage during an engagement near the French town of St. Mihail. When 12 members of his unit were gunned down by the enemy, he volunteered to scout the machine gun emplacement on his own. 
moving through heavy fire and surviving two rounds that were deflected by his helmet. He tossed four hand, hand grenades into the machine gun nest, killing six of the enemy combatants. He then took the other eight survivors captive. Shortly thereafter, during the Meuse-Argonne campaign, Private Serna volunteered again for a lone scouting mission, wounding a German sniper with a shot from 200 yards, and then following the injured man into a trench, firing and hurling grenades in all directions to make it seem as if he were part of a larger front. He shot three German soldiers immediately, then attacked an enemy dugout, killing 26 more and capturing 24. He single-handedly held the prisoners at gunpoint until other members of his unit had arrived. Private Cerna ser served in combat until the end of the war and was wounded in each leg. While recovering in a French hospital, he received the Distinguished Service Cross from General John J. Pershing. He also earned the World War I Victory Medal with five stars, the Victory Medal with three campaign bars, the St. Mihail Medal, the Verdon Medal, and two Purple Hearts, as well as decorations from the governments of France, Italy, and the United Kingdom. He became a U.S. citizen in 1924 and settled in El Paso, where he resided until his death in 1992. The most decorated Texas veteran of World War I, he won every major military award short of the Congressional Medal of Honor, and petitions have been put forth to grant him that commendation as well. At this time, will Jenny, the great-granddaughter of United States Army Private Marcelino Cerna, please join Governor Abbott for the presentation of the award. The Texas Legislative Medal of Honor is being awarded to Private Marcelino Cerna for extraordinary heroism in action while serving with Bravo Company 355th Infantry Regiment, 89th Division, American Expeditionary Forces during World War I. Private Marcelino Cerna displayed exceptional coolness and courage, which led to him charging a German trench and single-handedly capturing 24 German soldiers. Private Cerna's extraordinary heroism and selflessness during missions in World War I will not be forgotten. Private Cerna's heroic acts are in keeping with the finest traditions of military service and reflect great credit upon himself, the 355th Infantry Regiment, and the United States Army. Thank you, Jenny, and the Cerna family. William Ray Flores was born in Carlsbad, New Mexico in 1961. He attended Western Hills High School in Benbrook, Texas, and left school early to enlist in the United States Coast Guard at the age of 17. He served abroad the buoy tender Blackthorn, and on the night of January 28, 1980, the ship was leaving Tampa, Florida, en route to its home port of Galveston, when it collided with a 600-foot tanker, the SS Capricorn. The Blackthorn's hull was ripped open along the side by the Capricorn's anchor, and the vessel began to take on water, rolling onto its side. In the chaos and darkness, seaman apprentice Flores and a shipmate found the locker that held the ship's life jackets, and they began throwing jackets to their crewmates already in the water. Seaman apprentice Flores used his trouser belt to strap the locker open so that more jackets could float free as the Blackthorn sank. And after nearly everyone else had abandoned ship, he stayed aboard and attempted to save those who were still trapped below deck. He lost his life in that effort, along with 22 of his shipmates. Through his selfless actions, seaman apprentice Flores helped save 27 of his shipmates. And in September of 2000, he was posthumously awarded the Coast Guard Medal 
the service's highest commendation for non-combat heroism. In 2012, the United States Coast Guard's fast response cutter William Flores was named in his honor. And on the 40th anniversary of the Blackthorns accident in January of 2020, a life-size statue of Seaman Apprentice Flores was unveiled at a ceremony in St. Petersburg, Florida. At this time, will Samuel Flores, brother of United States Coast Guard Seaman Apprentice William Ray Flores, please join Governor Abbott for the presentation of the award. The Texas Legislative Medal of Honor is being awarded to Seaman Apprentice William Ray Flores for exceptional heroism and valor while assigned to the United States Coast Guard Cutter Blackthorn. Seaman Apprentice William Ray Flores gave the ultimate sacrifice while in the line of duty on the night of January 28, 1980. Even after most of the crew members abandoned ship, Seaman Apprentice Flores, with complete disregard for his own safety, remained on the inverted hull to assist trapped shipmates and provide aid and comfort to injured and disoriented shipmates. His exceptional fortitude, remarkable initiative, and courage throughout his tragic incident were instrumental in saving many lives and resulted in the sacrifice of his own life. Seaman Apprentice Flores' courage, selflessness, and devotion to duty are most heartily commended and are in keeping with the highest traditions of the United States Coast Guard. Thank you, Samuel, and the Flores family. At this time, it is my distinct honor to introduce the 48th governor of the great state of Texas, Governor Greg Abbott. Well, listen, thank you. I, I want to start out by thanking the Texas Military Department for uh, putting on this event today. Uh, it is uh, really fitting uh, that we're having this event today on Texas Independence Day. Uh, one thing that we believe in in Texas, uh, but also in the United States, is independence. Our independence as a country uh, was won by uh, the men and women who stepped up and uh, put their lives on the line through the military to win that independence. The same thing applied to uh, the winning of the Texas independence. What we know is this, and that is throughout the, the history of our country and the history of our state, it has been those who have stepped forward, those who are heroes, those with character, those with courage, uh, who stepped up to make sure that we were able to win that independence. In Texas, we support our military, both in Texas uh, and our United States military, for stepping up and securing our freedom in this country. I want to thank Mariah Cruz uh, for uh, what you are doing here today. Uh, I want to thank a, a couple of other people. Uh, a good friend of mine, General Hagee, thank you for being here, uh, General. Uh, of course, uh, Adjutant General Tracy Norris uh, and uh, uh, Kaylin Archie and everybody here, uh, and especially all the veterans uh, with us here today and their family members, as well as all the family members uh, of those who have received the award today. Today we honor two men who raised their hand and they answered their call for our country. Their bravery is so inspiring when you, when you listen to the stories of what happened. You cannot be anything but inspired. The heroism, unbelievable. You have one soldier pretty much take out the entire opposing army. <laughs> it's, it's just astonishing that you see that kind of, not just bravery, but bravery with success uh, to overcome uh, an opponent. And they answer the call for a country and alter the arc of a war, alter the arc of history. And, you know, candidly, their bravery is so inspiring. If it were a movie, 
even Steven Spielberg could make you believe it. It, it made me pause to think, um, uh, has a movie been made of Cerna? Is, is that with, with the word yet. There you go. All right. It's coming. So, so listen, and, and the same thing uh, uh, for William Ray Flores. I mean, for, for both uh, uh, Marcelino Cerna and William, William Ray Flores, we could not be more proud of the heritage of your families and the course that they put our country and our state on. Uh, as, as you heard earlier, uh, Marcelino Cerna, uh, he volunteered for the Army when he uh, entered World War I. And he wasn't even a U.S. citizen at the time, uh, which also says something that's really remarkable. We still see that in our service today. Uh, and it always means so much when uh, someone who's not even a citizen here cares so much about this country and what this country stands for. They're willing to step up and put their life on the line to defend what this country stands for. And obviously his family in the aftermath of that was able to benefit from that freedom. As I understand it, after just three weeks of training, he was deployed to France. That's not a lot of training, General. <laughs> but I guess during a world war, you don't have time for that kind of training. Uh, um, Kennedy, many people would shudder when faced with the carnage, the, the brutality of what they went into, but not Private Cerna. Uh, when his company was gunned down, uh, as you heard, and, and what he did in, in response uh, to go after the, the gunner who attacked his fellow soldiers, that's uncommon valor. It's just stunning. And to see the results of that uncommon valor uh, was even more amazing. Um, and as you also heard in the proclamation, uh, he was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross from General Pershing himself, uh, and along with all the other medals and awards, extremely well deserved. Uh, and I hope, as was pointed out, uh, he will receive that Congressional Medal of Honor also. Um, although he's no longer with us, I hope that this Texas Legislative Medal of Honor uh, lets you all know just how much we appreciate his incredible actions. Uh, it is the brave acts like, of people like him that reminds us that freedom is not free. Uh, for Coast Guard Seaman Apprentice William Ray Flores, uh, we know that uh, Flores left his high school in Benbrook, Texas uh, to enlist in the Coast Guard. Uh, when his uh, ship collided with that big tanker on that night, he left into action in ways that maybe others wouldn't do and put his life at risk and unfortunately lost his life while protecting and preserving the lives of others. There are, as I understand it, 27 of his crewmates that he saved from drowning, but unfortunately it did cost him his own life. But because of those that he was able to save, uh, more than two dozen families were able to see their loved ones again. Today, Seaman Flores uh, has, uh, as you know, both a Coast Guard fast response cutter named after him and a life-size statue in his honor in St. Petersburg, Florida, which I need to go see sometime. Um, until today, there's been no recognition from the state of Texas for his brave actions. We are fixing that with this well-deserved Texas Legislative Medal of Honor. Seaman Flores' selfless heroics are the embodiment of service that we expect from Texans and uh, that we've seen from your family. And we're proud of the entire family uh, for uh, what William Ray Flores provided to our country and his service and what he's meant to our state. As we you know, gather today, we see the, the bravery of Ukrainian people in Europe right now, extraordinary bravery. It reminds us that when faced with incredible odds, incredible people rise to the occasion. Seaman Flores and Private Cerna were incredible, incredible people whose bravery still rings true after all of these years. On this 
Texas Independence Day. These two brave men show what it means to be a true Texan. I'm proud to present these families uh, as I have with the Texas Legislative Medal of Honor and just ask that God be with you and your families and guide you and your families as you go forward. God bless you all. God bless the great state of Texas and God bless the United States of America. Thank you, sir. Marcelino Serna and William Flores each demonstrated uncommon courage, initiative, and devotion to their comrades during desperate situations. And it is indeed appropriate that they be honored with the highest military award granted by the state that is proud to call them Texans. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the benediction and the departure of Governor Greg Abbott. Would you join me in prayer? <clears throat> Dear Lord, what an honor it is to be a part of this recognition of Private Cerna and Seaman Flores and the sacrifices that they made on behalf of their fellow Americans. We thank you for this opportunity to be here and for their testimony. As we prepare to, to depart, we ask once again for your blessings. We thank you for great Texas families like the Cerna and Flores families, and we ask that you would place your blessings upon them. We again thank you for the great state of Texas and humbly ask that your grace and peace would go with Governor Abbott and our other elected and military leaders. And may your blessings abide upon the people of Texas. We ask these things in your precious name. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the ceremony. Thank you for your attendance and have a great Texas Independence Day.